Now I want to go over some of the things that I talked about in the article about Trimble Business Center and kind of give you an idea of what I go through when I work on a job that, uh, in this case, one of our people sent to me and said, hey, can you play with this? I don't like the way it looks. And they want to kind of change slopes and make them work better. And I'll kind of talk about tricks along the way, and then we'll talk about what we do in this thing. Now, one of the neat things I like to do, um, if you go to the layer groups, you'll see my cursor over here on the left. Hold down Shift and double click. You can open or close everything at one time, which is good. Um, Right now I'm messing with the 3D model group. I'll leave that. Surface may go on and off at some point. So what we have here is I'm looking at the same thing in, in, in both, uh, both screens. And the first thing I notice is there's this sort of a break line that kind of runs out and underneath everything that just really isn't doing much for me in a lot of different places. So I'm going to do a control D and delete that and get it out of the way. And what I want to do is I, I want to clean this up here because I have a high point here but then there's a low point at this spot here. So we want to kind of shed water a little bit differently. Plus, we need to get a flume that runs down from this um, uh, curb retention, um, this, uh, this scupper here, into this basin. Uh, it's carrying a decent amount of water. It's not huge. It's just a parking lot addition. It's not huge, but this is where everything is getting thrown to. So I want to see that it's right. And we've got the surface decent over here, so that's okay. But what I want to do now is kind of improve um, how this thing looks and works towards the, uh, uh, the drainage. So the first thing I want to do is kind of run some lines down here, high and low point, to sort of get, get this uh, flume kind of worked out better. So here's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to come in here and let's just throw some break lines in here. And we're going to make it on layer 3D break lines. We're going to make this sharp because we want a good, uh, a good clean edge. And this is the surface we're working on. This is a Home Depot uh, somewhere. So um, we say OK to that. And the first thing I want to do is come here. And let's say we go here. And then what I want to do is probably come back to this low point here. And you'll see we kind of have this worked out where it looks real pretty. And I'll probably just do one side for you so we can, uh, uh, can kind of dispense with a lot of detail. And now, the other thing is I've got this low spot here. This is a contour that comes in. And um, I really got to figure out what I want to do with this thing. So uh, this contour here is. Uh, I can just click on the properties, or what I've done is I've toggled line marking so I can I can look at this thing and see what I've got here under properties. Um, so this contour is a 985, and you see it's a 985.5 here. So what I can do is uh, I can take this 985.5 and bring it down to this one here. Let me show you. Let's do a break line here, and let's say OK, because that's the same as it was before. And what I'm going to do is come from here down to here. Now that's done. That looks pretty good there, you can see. And what I want to do is just get rid of this 985 here. So what I'm going to do is close this out. And yeah, let's just, uh, you know, there's a lot of different things you can do. In this case, what I want to do is kind of break this line back. So let's go over to CAD and pick on the break command. And uh, that other line was selected before, so we'll just go back and highlight this one, and let's break it back here. And then we highlight this one, and it says, oh, it's still in the break command, but I can do a Control-D and delete it. And now that we take a look at this, it's a lot cleaner. The water's still going to run down to here, and I'm a lot happier. Um, I could easily do that on the other side and make that happen and look a lot nicer. And there we go. We've kind of fixed this thing and make it made it look good. Now, let's say I didn't want to do that, or I wanted to see what it would look like with just one of these. Um, I talked about different things, so I'm going to come in here and click on this line here. Let me get rid of this command. And let's go back to surface and let's say surface members, well, it, there's that selection set from before. If I want to remove that, it takes it out. And you'll see it's still highlighted in there, but it's not an issue anymore. So could I have done just this contour repair here and made that work? Well, yeah, maybe that's, uh, that's a viable answer. But in some cases, we may want to clean it. Let's put it back and see what it looks like. And what me and or the engineer are going to like to make this thing work is now a decision 
we can kind of make on the fly. I can send a couple screenshots, show different uh, iterations of what our ideas are, um, and it happens pretty quick. I can even get them live um, on a call uh, using TeamViewer or something and show them what I'm trying to do and put everybody on the same page, get the job in the field, and keep working. It's that easy.